YouTube, what's going on guys? Nez here coming at you with a brand new video and damn I did it again boys, I did it again. Had my mic muted for the whole first commentary. <laughs> but let's get this started man. Uh this map is knockout of course, you guys know it. It is the third map that I'm showing you guys for the second DLC. I know a lot of you guys seen the video the map already uh, most of, most of this is gonna be gameplay for you guys and like I said I know I'm late to it and I want to apologize about it uh, but this map is pretty much I think it, it takes place on a private island uh, private island uh, Kung Fu Island so pretty much this this map is lay, lay out and for like a Chinese Kung Fu tournament we're not so I think you're gonna see like little temples little uh, dragon statues stuff like that just to make the game feel like uh, Kung Fu tournament. Uh, you see though that wall run right there, those little circles. They're actually if you punch them or shoot them, they actually make like a like a tournament sound bell, like how the, the match starts or it ends. Kind of, it's kind of crazy. What I'm looking into right now, what you guys are gonna see, is the disco area. It actually has disco music. You guys heard it. You heard, you heard it while I was running through. But let me uh, start this video off right. Uh, this is confirm on knockout. Uh, I didn't even know I had this gameplay until I was looking through my archives because I know I have two more videos uh, well including this one two more videos to go which is Knockout and Fire so I was looking for gameplay for it that I had on either one and luckily I forgot that I had this one so I hope you guys definitely enjoy this one it's going to be a hell of a gameplay I think I go 55 and 3 on it uh, I do die on the nuclear but you guys can see how it's kind of crazy can't survive it all can't you <laughs> But let me just start off by saying the game. This map has great flow to it. Real simple, nothing too crazy. Uh, start off by saying uh, hard point. I really do enjoy hard point. This one. Um, it reminds me of hard point back in Black Ops 2 and Slums. Uh, that's one, the first thing I want to get out the way. This map has a little similarity to Slums. Like it, it, it has a little slum vibe to it, especially the middle area. If you play hard point, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the tournament stage. Uh, you guys see me pass by a few times. It has a middle hard point just like Slums. Like the Slums had the little statue. Circle area. It's kind of crazy how similar it is. Uh, TDM could confirm it, it runs real well. It runs real well with it, excuse me, because you gotta constantly move around. Like I told you guys before, I love maps that you can do that in. Uh, before I can continue, this is why I die off the nuclear, man. I, I, I get the, you know, I get heat wave, I can get that kill, but you guys are gonna see it coming up right about now. Can't get them all, man. Okay? <laughs> I survived the heat wave, but you can't survive the uh, purifier. It is what it is. Died off the nuclear, but it's all good. Uh, still a hell of a gameplay. You guys are going to enjoy it. Trust me, I got a nuclear video coming up for you guys that you guys are going to love. Back to the gameplay. TDM kill confirm works hella, hella good. Um, now, but domination and up is what I'm going to get into. Uh, you, know, you guys want to really talk about safeguard after this lab because they're pretty much, sponsors are pretty much similar to domination uh, uh, as long as you don't flip them. Uh, it's really locked down. You can really lock it down with a good, maybe four man, four or five man team because it's only three ways. This way, right now, where I'm going through the wall run, you have a good AR posted right there. Nobody's going to get to you. I mean, they literally have to push like three or four guys at, like, actually just to be able to get to you because even two guys is not going to cut it. If you have good, if you got good shots, too easy. As you can see, I'm running through this open uh, area right here. That's the only way you can go through. Uh, to mid and the and the middle area, which is even smaller, is the only way you can go through uh, through middle, which is kind of crazy because they're pretty much forcing people to spread out. But the only thing bad about it is not it's not that much cover in the middle area. There's no head glitches you can use personally, in my opinion, to protect you. So you gotta have it, your shots on point because if you miss, it's pretty much over. Like see right here, it's open. Uh, they can head glitch you because those boxes are closer to their side. But overall, it. Uh, I got I got to get this map a, a good solid eight or nine. Eight, eight. It may be one of the well, not my favorite map, but one of the, it's up there. It's up there. I can't I can't give you that verdict until like you know the last fifth map uh, where I put I'm gonna have a little uh, little special gameplay for you guys. You guys are definitely gonna enjoy it. Uh, but as you can see, also one well, another thing that I forgot even to mention: how colorful and bright this map is. Like you don't see that very often, in my opinion, with Treyarch. And the fact that they did that a lot with this DLC um, really impressed me. Uh, definitely got to give this map and uh, a, a, a good review on it. But like I said, last map is going to be coming up. It's going to be coming out to you guys probably on Monday. So 
Look forward to that, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe, guys. As always, this has been your boy Nez, N E to the double Z. And I'm gone. I'll see you guys in my next video. Setting up for rescue team. Peace! I've met recruits who would have kicked your ass.